This is a module out of a 2014 Smart for Two made by Mercedes, but uh, it's one of the three that are in the Mercedes Smart for Two 2014 made by Acumotive. Uh, I've taken one, one chill plate off right here and I'm getting ready to take this other chill plate off right here. I took took the took this out of the out of the battery pan. I just had four bolts, two on the side, two on the other side. And and then I have these rods that go all the way through it right there. That hold it together. And this chill plate holds it holds all those all those cells together as well. So I'm gonna take that apart and um, I uh, tested the the voltage between on this entire pack and it's sitting at 0 0.71 volts so it's it's for all intents and purposes it is completely dead I took the back off of this module here hey, and you can hear my son down there looking hey, for Dad, the screws that he spilled that's all right buddy so then if you look really close here the each one of these prismatic cells is welded so they're welded there and then welded there and welded here so it goes back and forth that's what you that what's that's what gets you your series so i don't need this what i'll probably have to do is is separate those i'm not sure exactly how we're going to do that but I want to see if we can take them apart and maybe maybe charge each individual cell and see if we can recuperate the cells who knows may work may not it's just an experiment so let's see what happens here so basically we're able to take those tiny so you can see right here there's some little welds that hold those to those bars on the side like so and then uh, um, so we were just actually they weren't too terribly difficult to get off so what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna try and take um, try and take this uh, I measured these two I heard to measure with one hand but measured those two um, and there's very little, you see that's like two, two hundredths of a volt. But um, you can see here, positive and negative side, three point, that says 3.6 volts, 50 amp hours. Anyway, that's, that's pretty much it. They came out of these little shells right here. What I'll probably do is take them and put them in my IMAX B6 and see if we can charge them up really slowly and maybe they'll take a charge maybe they won't but it's worth a try litech battery www.li-tech.de anyway worth checking out so here's the last of it my wife didn't didn't uh like the idea of me having everything on her kitchen table so she made me move downstairs in the dungeon and um, anyway this is the first cell we started charging last night at 12 30 a.m it got up to 3.15 i took it off for 12 hours almost 12 hours about 11 hours and uh it had dropped three hundredths of an amp or three hundredths of a volt i'm sorry we have this little charger now so you, you can see it's a, it's almost well it's about 3.5 volts um, it's charging at a charge rate of 2 amps um, and it's been charging for about four minutes but uh, anyway so it's, it's slowly working up I don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna do it but I have 30 of those in that module and then another 30 in that module and another 30 uh, outside that I have to go get but here's a sneak pe preview of my next project some um, 
uh, Tesla modules. I've, I have three of those and um, I'm going to take those apart and I have a secret weapon on how to take those apart. Anyway, so um, I just have to get another one, one of these little chargers here, the IMAX B6s, so I can speed things up a little bit. And that's it.